We and our members have proven over and over that we can build a blog to a full-time income in two years, but now I'm about to do it in one. But this is not gonna be easy. Google's been shaking things up. AI is trying to replace bloggers. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to do this. Last year, I told you how I'd go about getting to $4,000 a month on a blog, cutting our normal time in half. But this year, I'm not just gonna show you how I would do it. I'm gonna show you how I am doing it. So here are the rules of the challenge. First of all, I have to build a site to at least $4,000 in a single month, okay? I also don't get to reveal this site to you, to any of my existing audience. I have to build it organically or it really wouldn't be a fair challenge. Now, any comments that I see that reveal the site, if anybody out there finds it on their own, uh, those are gonna get deleted from our videos and we're gonna have to block you from commenting anywhere else on the channel. So you can say goodbye to any future comment contest winnings. Now, if I don't make it, then obviously I get the shame of failing publicly. My team and even my wife don't think that's good enough. So here's the deal. For every $100 below the $4,000 goal, I'm going to have to run a mile. It means I could easily end up having to run a marathon. So um, I better get training, you know, just in case. Actually, I'm filming a video right now, so I'll just train later. I'm sure there'll be time. I don't really feel like running anyway. So let's talk about the goals. There are a few goals that if we can hit them, we're going to succeed here. To get to $4,000 a month, and in my video last year, I went through this math for you, so you can go watch that if you want to. But in a study I did about a year ago, a survey of you and Project 24 members, I found that on average, you're all earning about $32.82 per thousand page views on your website. Using that number, and that number lines up with what we're still seeing today, it means that I need 121,877 page views per month on this website. To get that, we need to know how much traffic we can get per post so we know exactly what we need to do. And in that same survey, I found that on average, your sites are getting about 715 page views per blog post. Our goal here is typically to shoot for about 1,000. For Project 24 members, anything over 500 is pretty good. So this might be a little bit of a stretch, but given that number, I need to write 170 blog posts and I need to not just write them all this year, I need to write them all soon enough that they have the opportunity to be indexed, ranked, and be getting real traffic, and be monetized and making good money before the end of the year. I got a lot to do, so I'm gonna need to front load a lot of that content. Now, there's only one of these goals that is directly in my control, and that's the amount of content. That's the only one I can control. The rest of these, I can only influence. So what do we need to do? We need to give ourselves every opportunity possible to be successful at achieving these numbers or maybe even beating all of those numbers. So this is what the plan looks like. We're going to start with search analysis. Search analysis is really kind of the starting point with all of our websites. Essentially what we want to do is identify the search queries, the things people are typing in to Google search that we can create content that answers their questions. We need to make sure that all of the content we create fits a query in some way. But here I said start with three. This is really key. Now search analysis is something we're actually gonna do throughout the whole process. I don't like to do it all up front because I like to see how the first blog posts start to perform to give me a better indication of what's gonna work better in the future. So I do a little bit of search analysis every time I'm going to write a new batch of content. With our search analysis, when we start a new website, we don't wanna take the niche that we picked and spread our content out across the whole niche. That is a huge mistake. In fact, we proved that with an experiment that we ran starting two years ago and that we've been talking about a lot on this channel. The flip side of that is what we call topical authority. And that is where we take more specific topics and we have enough content about those that the content itself makes us an authority on that topic. And so we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna pick just three aspects of the niche and create at least the first 30, if not the first 60 blog posts, all about just those three subtopics within the niche. So that's, that's first, search analysis. The next thing here is content creation, specifically written content creation. We need to write blog posts, and I want to write all 170 blog posts that are kind of the minimum for this year. I wanna write them in the first three months. That is like 
almost two blog posts a day. And so I am going to use a little bit of help to do this. I am going to outsource some of this work to writers. However, I found that when we outsource large amounts of content to writers, uh, and then we just publish it all on our website, it doesn't perform very well. Google doesn't like to see content, and they specifically mention this in the most recent helpful content update, as well as the one back in September, they don't like to see what looks like mass-produced content. So if we're gonna outsource content, we need to make sure that we take the time to go through that content, make sure that it fits within you know, the rest of the website. I wanna make sure to go through every one of those blog posts and make sure that they're just up to the quality standard, they're properly interlinked, they're all in my name before ever hitting publish because we don't wanna send any sign to Google that this content may have just been mass produced, which isn't really what we're going for here. After those initial 170 blog posts, I will definitely be adding more content throughout the year to the website, but I'll be able to be a lot more strategic about what content I add because we're gonna be able to see the results of this content in both Google Analytics and Google Search Console. All of this is stuff that I'm gonna to talk to you about as I do it throughout the year. So I'm really excited to get to kind of pull you along this journey throughout the year, even though I'm not gonna be revealing the specific website yet. Okay, next is video. Now, video is something that we've addressed a little bit here on this channel. It was part of our plan last year. This is gonna be, I think, one of the most beneficial things I can do to help meet this audacious goal. It's gonna be hard. Like I said before, I really don't know if we're gonna be able to make it, but video is one of the things that can really help us. What I'm not talking about doing is creating a YouTube channel and trying to build a big following there. I am talking about creating a channel and publishing videos that supplement the blog content on my website. For every video I create, I wanna be able to point people to a resource on the blog that coincides with that video. Likewise, in those blog posts, I wanna have a reason to embed those same videos on the blog post. There's a huge benefit here, and that is that Google is showing more and more videos in Google search, not just YouTube search. Google wants people to watch video content. And honestly, people like video content because in many cases, that visual format offers them better information than what they can just read. So we're definitely gonna be making supplementary videos. I'm excited when I finally get to reveal the niche to you at the end for you to be able to see exactly how I did that but we'll probably do some of that on our charity site as well. So if you wanna see that as we're going, make sure you follow Project Charity as well. Next, let's talk for a minute about monetization. This is something that's gonna be done throughout the entire process. In the very beginning, in order to make sure that I have the best opportunity to make a good income from this website, I am gonna monetize from the start, which isn't really something I'd normally recommend. I would normally have you create some content first, but because I'm gonna be leaning a little bit on other writers to help me with content, I'm gonna dedicate some time to this. Here's the approach though I'm gonna take from the beginning. I'm gonna pick a handful of products that fit within these first three sub topics of my niche. I'm gonna pick some products that I want to promote because I know about them, because I use them. This is a niche that is something that I, it's a part of my life, and so it's something I can easily talk about. And these are products that I'll probably recommend in a lot of the content. I don't wanna be spamming affiliate links all over the place, but when I have just a few specific products that I kind of become associated with because of how much I talk about them and how much I use them in the content, it, it makes it an easy, a much easier sell, okay? If you don't know, I, I have another video on this channel that I published recently that talks about four different strategies for affiliate marketing. I will be implementing all of those on this website over the course of the year. But I'm gonna start out with a few specific products that I wanna be associated with. Here's the other little tip. I'm not only going to pick products that I can be an affiliate for today. If one of the products that I want to recommend is not on Amazon, but it has an affiliate program somewhere, or really even if it doesn't, I want to recommend those products from the start. And if I'm not an affiliate, I can say right there in the article, I'm not an affiliate for this product, it's just a product that I really recommend for this particular use it's gonna be helpful for you. Over time, as you start to get more traffic on the website, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to be approved for other affiliate programs that do have those products for you. The next is ads. I'm probably gonna wait till about month three or four before I start worrying about ads. At a minimum, I want 1,000 page views per month on my website, but probably closer to 10,000 page views a month 
Before the ads really start to make any real difference from an income standpoint, honestly, I wanna give my website the best chance to grow uh, without ads on it in the very beginning. So we're gonna start without ads, but ads can be a great way to earn an income. And as we have video content on our website, once we start having ads, Ezoic has their own video player and it's awesome. I can upload my videos to Ezoic and embed the Ezoic version of my video on my website and have the YouTube version of my video over on YouTube performing well in search. That's going to allow me to earn even more ad income from those videos that are embedded on the site than I would have earned if I just used the YouTube version. So it's a great way to make even more money from ads. If you're with Mediavine or um, AdThrive, they also have great video players. And so with a secondary website or uh, <laughs> with a more established website that you may have, that can be a great way to make a great income from your supplement videos. Third, I put info here. Honestly, to reach this goal, for a lot of bloggers, this number here looks high. They're, they're not sure how they're gonna get there. In some niches, it's tough. I think in my niche, it's not gonna be that bad. But in case it is, I do wanna be prepared to be able to create and sell an info product because the income, the, the revenue potential from an info product is incredible. And so we're gonna set things up and we'll talk about that in a second to be able to sell an info product by hopefully about month 10 or month 11. Before that, I'm not gonna have that much traffic, but also I'm just not gonna have time to identify and create the right info product for this audience. Okay, now for some new stuff. This is stuff we didn't talk about in our plan last year, but that I think is really gonna help influence some of these that we have not direct control over, but only influence over. So this right here is the outreach, the industry outreach portion of the plan. Uh, starting by month six, possibly as early as month four in this, in this plan, I'm gonna start participating in my industry. Well, what does that look like? Well, in the <coughs> niche, I'm gonna definitely be able to participate in Facebook groups, uh, subreddits, because those people are participating in groups there. They're asking questions in, in, on Quora. And so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna create a profile for each one of those. Um, where it's built on top of the niche that I'm in, where I'm gonna be able to talk about that, I'm gonna be able to answer questions, help people, ask questions, and just participate in general under the name of my brand. I'm also gonna start working on getting interviewed on podcasts. I'm gonna shoot for one a month, starting by about month six. So I'm gonna start lining those up as early as I can. But nobody wants to interview you on your podcast until they see you have a website with some real content or a YouTube channel or whatever. So first I gotta build a real website. It's gotta look good, it's gotta look professional and have good content on it. So that's first, but we're gonna get into this um, by about month six. The next is just all of the other work we can do to build our EAT. Now, um, coming up soon on this channel, I'm gonna be interviewing Kyle Roof. Kyle knows a ton about SEO. He's done a bunch of studies himself where he's like done like real research where I'm talking about gathering data testing things um, on a scale that most people have not been able to attain, right? So Kyle knows what he's talking about and guess what we're talking about? We're talking about EAT, the factors that impact EAT and the things you need to be doing on your site to help ensure that you don't get hit by a future Google algorithm update and that you hopefully recover from any that you've been hit by in the past. So um, based on the results of that interview, there will be some specific action items for this plan. Next is groups, community. Uh, the next thing I really wanna do is build some community around this. And so I will be creating a group, possibly on Facebook. Um, I will be creating an email newsletter, hopefully by uh, around month six to month eight. Absolutely, I'm gonna have a pretty good idea of which clusters of content on my website are doing the best. And based upon those, I can create a good lead magnet for that audience. And then I can create a, a good email newsletter, some good resources that they could receive um, via email that go above and beyond what they get just by being on the blog. They can join my online group, probably a Facebook group or something like that, to be able to be more engaged with my brand and other people that are in our community uh, within our niche. And so I'm excited for that. These are some things that we don't always recommend to Project 24 members, but again, we've got to pull out all the stops and try and try some things. I wanna experiment a little bit with online with this and figure out how I can do that in a way that doesn't suck up all my time, but still allows me to build real community. This is the plan and I want you to be able to follow along with the plan. And so I'm making a page over on incomeschool.com. Um, 
it will be incomeschool.com slash project whatever we choose. <laughs> right now I called it project double time for this video because it's the best that my brain was able to come up with. But I want to hear your ideas. What is the code name we should be using for this project? Project double time is because we're going twice as fast, right? We're going extra fast. But if you have something better, I want to hear it in the comments. And in the next video we make about this project, um, as well as really in the pinned comment for this video, once we have a sure name, I'll tell you the URL for the, the page where I'm going to be giving updates um, every single month about what we've accomplished and what the results have been. At the end of 12 months, I'm going to reveal what the website is. I'm going to show you the proof of my success. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm going to be running <laughs> a lot and you're going to get to see that as well. So I'll keep you updated on what's going on. And I'm going to tell you how I do these things, show you how I do these things and talk about the results of each of those things throughout the year. So I hope you'll join me on this project and maybe consider taking whatever website you're working on today and stepping it up and doing your own project double time or whatever we come up with. We'll see you all next time.